Hello students, it's now time for Envision's math. We just completed Envision's Unit 8. Uh, we worked on order of operations and I hope that you have a good idea now of how to solve an equation that has several steps with different types of operations. And you should know in which order to solve that equation by knowing your order of operations, your Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, if you will. Okay, now we are moving on to Unit 9. Unit 9 is about fractions, okay? And this first lesson, we're going to be a very simple. A lot of what I'm going to talk about is things that you already know, but it's just a reminder. I'm bringing, a, bringing it back to memory, and it should help you with this first lesson. This first lesson's a little interesting. It gives you some pictures and asks you to estimate the part of the figure that's a fraction. Uh, and it also has some questions that requires you to draw out some pictures. And then it asks you why you drew it that way. So you are writing to explain your answers today, okay? So lesson 9-1, is going to be problem solving and then write to explain. Now I know some of you that love math and then hear that you have to write down to explain how you got your answer, it's kind of a little bit of a headache. You'll be okay, all right? Um, make your writing simple. Just think about how you solve the problem and write that out in a simple way, okay? Don't make it too long and detailed and confusing. Keep it simple, all right? Now, I do want you to work on 9-1 practice today. 9-1 reteaching is a problem, and just one problem. Uh, you can certainly look at it as an example. It is a good example. Uh, however, I would prefer you today to work on 9-1 practice, and I will make sure that your answer keys are in the answer key topic page, okay? All right, so I have a little board here just to discuss a tiny bit of what a fraction is just some reminders i know some of you may be going oh i already know this that's okay we're just going to review it and it should be a good beginning foundation for this unit okay so a fraction i want you to remember a fraction is a quantity it is an amount but it's an amount less than one okay it's an amount less than one I have provided an example on this side of the board of a fraction, okay? We have three and then a line and then four. That's said three fourths, okay? The number above the line, the three there, is called a numerator, okay? That usually stands for how many parts we have, okay? Now, sometimes when you're talking about a fraction, it might say, he ate this many amount of pieces of pie. And that might be the numerator, what you're looking for. But in this case, we'll just keep it simple and say the numerator is the amount of parts that you have, okay? Now, the denominator, that's the number below the line. Now, the way I remembered the difference between numerator and denominator is the denominator is down. The, the denominator, down, okay? Numerator above the line. Now the denominator is all the parts to the whole. Now what is a whole? Now in this case you might say hey, it's a whole pizza or a whole cookie or a whole pie or whatever circular dessert or meal you enjoy eating, okay? In this case we'll just have a whole circle, okay? But a whole is a whole number, okay? In this case if you just have one whole that is one, your numerical one, okay? So this fraction is showing three fourths of a whole, okay? We have one piece missing and those three parts that are not missing is how many we have, right? Your numerator. So three out of four is our fraction, three fourths, okay? So I know that was very simple and I know that's something that you've learned over and over again, probably for many years, but I just wanted to review the words Fraction, numerator, and denominator, and make sure that you understand what each is, okay? Fraction is a quantity smaller than a whole, smaller than one, 
okay? A numerator is how many you have of that whole, how many parts of that whole that you have, and then denominator is all the parts to the whole, okay? So if we had all the parts, we would have four over four, four parts to the whole, okay? But we don't, we only have three. Now there's only one more thing that I want to emphasize here. When you are considering fractions, fractions need to be separated into equal sized parts. If they are not into separated into equal sized parts, then it's not a, a proper fraction, okay? Now, oh, I'm starting to erase my things here. So what I just want to show you here, here's a couple of very easy examples. We have this one shape here. This is just kind of an introduction to what you're going to be doing today. Here's a shape here, and they'll ask something like, estimate the amount of, you know, estimate the fractional part that's shaded in here. Well, this is about half, right? Do you know how to write half for a fraction? It's one over two, correct? So we have one over two. Why is that half? Well, two, right? Your denominator is all the parts to the whole, one, two, and then one is the part that we have. So one over two is one half. Now, in other terms, when we say fractions, we'll say one-third, one-fourth, one-fifth, and so on, but half is unique because we don't say one-second, we say half or one-half, okay? Now, this figure here is a little bit more challenging, a little bit, um, but what you want to consider is it's asking you again, what's the fractional part, right, that's shaded in? Now, we can look at it and say, hmm, you, you know, you can measure it out with your fingers, you can eyeball it, okay? But you can say, huh, that's one small part, and then maybe one more, and then one, maybe one more. Hmm. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to estimate that that's about one-fourth, okay? I'm going to estimate that that's about one-fourth. Why is that? Because I think that I can separate the shape into four equal parts of this size. However, the shaded part is only one part, okay? So that's why I estimated and came up with the fractional part of, of one-fourth, okay? All right, so I know that was kind of a simple lesson today. Um, I need you to work today on 9-1, all right, for your envisions math work and make sure that you check out your answer key when you're done okay so remember two or less wrong way to go three or more wrong just let me know and if you need any help i can certainly help you out with anything that's challenging okay all right welcome to the world of fractions again make a great day